so this is interesting, complete departure. It took a few decades of study, but officials are starting to come around to the idea that high schoolers mm -hmm. dissecting a frog at 7.15 on Tuesday might not be a great move. So essentially, there's a new California law, which, by the way, could be a T-shirt. There's always okay. a new California law, but whatever. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I digress. A new California law in effect this year that requires public schools in the state to start no earlier than 8.30 mm -hmm. a.m. Why later? Okay. I think you get this, but science says mm -hmm. teens need more sleep. Yep. And, you know, they're, the sleep deprivation also affects mental health. And we've yep. talked about this before, and I love the work that Promo Cares has done on this. I thought this, I've, I've been holding this topic for a while just because I think it's pretty interesting, but I feel yeah. like this is also one of those topics where you're going to hear the the crabby old folks, the get off my lawn folks say, oh, back yeah. in my day, we could get mm -hmm. up at, oh, yeah. you know, oh, dark 30 and walk backwards uphill in the snow to school. Um, what's your take on the idea of moving school back to 830? Um, good or bad? A hundred percent good. Um, I'm I'm not a get off my lawn guy on this one. I seeing how you know sleep deprivation is a real thing, and you know they they having recent high school graduates, right? They're sophomores in college now. I can tell you, I mean, they had to be they left it for school at seven oh five in the morning. They had to be there at seven twenty every day, which meant they were getting up at the crack of dawn. They had to eat, and it was always a struggle. And I think that's smart. I think, I think, you know, when we have science that shows yeah. typically, right. It's never going to be for everybody, but your typical high school, <coughs> excuse me, your typical high school uh, person, they are peak, they peak between this and this. I think you, you skew to that instead of skewing to, well, we need to run the buses differently. Yeah, that's uh, and that's right. how we do because that's really how it's figured out these days, because they only have a certain number of buses and they got to deliver people yep. here and there. So I, I am I think this is great to figure out how to stagger this. In fact, I would even go further. I'd I'd love our education system to figure out basically have two almost start times. There are people who like to be there early and want to be there be at school early so that maybe they can get off school by two o'clock and go work or go do what they need to do. Or maybe they're just more effective in the morning and there's people who need to sleep in. So maybe there's a different start time at 10 o'clock and they get out at four o'clock. You know, I would love to see that now. I mean, that's, that's pipe dream in, in a public school situation, but I love the idea of, of catering to your customer, right? Your yeah. customer is that student. And when is it best for them to learn? Not yeah. you're learning now. Yeah. No, I think it's a, it, it, I think, you know, the pushback you'd get is that there's logistics involved and you mentioned the buses, but there's also sports schedules and I, I can totally hear. And and again, I get thinking through, is it like sports teams? Yep. There's so many times that teams aren't getting back until late in the evening from a, from a game. Right. Mm -hmm. And the, the pushback you're going to hear is that, well, now we have to push back the games later right. so it'll just it'll end up working itself out i think overall yeah. though you know there might be those exceptions but i think ultimately yeah. if we know that the human brain works better it, and by the way just from an uh, an iq perspective yeah. dealing with stress dealing with creativity if you have enough yeah. sleep you're going to do better but the idea yeah. when, that when you we have a bit of a mental health crisis in our country the idea that we know for sure that there's data that says they're better if we give them more sleep give anybody more sleep and we would yeah. ignore that, I think it would be irresponsible. So I'm wildly in favor of this. So I think it's great. Yeah. Well, and, I, and again, recent high school graduates, um, I, I know how overloaded they were um, in terms of their coursework, in terms of the expectations of them, far eclipsed whatever was ex uh, expected of me in high school. Oh, yeah. And so to me, that's just amping up and amping up and amping up in these schedules. I mean, the kids, the amount of pressure kids are under today, it dwarfs what it, or, you know, what, what it, it's makes us look like slackers when we went to high school. So I think we need to pay and attention. I was. To sleep. <laughs> uh, sleep deprivation is a real thing. I've actually had it this week. Like I said, I have this big cook coming up on Saturday. I will wake up. I woke up every day this week. No kidding. At about three o'clock, three 30 in the morning. And I start doing the math. Okay. If I hang and eat here, I got to do this. And just start doing the math yeah. of making sure I'm doing that right. And even though I've planned it, I've got a spreadsheet to know when I put <laughs> this meat on and all that stuff to do it right. Cause I don't want to disappoint anybody and I want to have fun doing it. 
can't get it out of my head. And I'm like, <laughs> I've told you, I'm like, man, I'm like a zombie this week. That's probably why I'm so amped up on, on coffee. 